What's up everybody? Welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today I'm excited to show you the all new RoboMaster S1 by DJI. Now this was in courtesy of Mike's Robot Lab so if you want to check out his link down below be sure to check it out in the description. Now this particular robot is pretty cool. It's actually an Omni Wheel uh, RC kind of style that has a pellet gun on it that literally you control with your phone in real time. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a closer look at this. This particular robot has a few different functions. So you do have the Omni wheel that you have to build, which is actually quite a difficult task. You have to use like a, almost like a gig. Uh, and then you can see it be, as you kind of rotate it around, there's a few different sensors. So these here are different uh, sensor pressure sensors. So when you're playing about, there's actually a pellet gun here that you have to shoot at your targets using the, the actual uh, app. And then you'll see on the top here that it has a few different functionalities, including a built-in camera, giving you a nice live feedback, which is right over here. And then it even has its own built-in router as well, so you get that nice live feedback in terms of connectivity. Now, as we already know, Bluetooth is not as strong as Wi-Fi, so it's actually a very promising sign. Now, it also has a few extra options in terms of ports on the back here, so you can go ahead and expand on it as well. And you can see that the gimbal on it is actually quite live stream, so you can even go ahead and track a target and move it about. So, there's no better way of trying this out than actually putting it to the test, so without further ado, let's go ahead and try it out. All right, so this here is the main hub. So you can actually see the robot in live stream. It's kind of rotated around, kind of gives it like a nice animation. So you have solo, battle, and lab. So lab will essentially allow you to go ahead and program the robot based on your liking, of course. Uh, and then you can always go ahead and use this on the computer in terms of um, uh, controlling it or programming it as well. Now, if you click on solo, this will give us control over the robot. So you can see that we have the joystick on the left and the joystick on the right, uh, and then we even see mic there in the back. <laughs> so as you kind of move about, we'll see that we can control the robot quite easily. Whoa! <laughs> so you have an infrared beam, uh, and you can see there's snow right over there as well. And then you can go ahead and drive it just like this. So with the Omni wheel, you can go ahead and slide it about, which makes it very easy to use. It's got a very nice smooth motion, which is kind of nice to see. Um, you see the laser right there? That's so cool. <laughs> so you can imagine that this is a lot of fun to play with. <laughs> so we have a few different functionalities. So if you click on the right here, uh, we can go ahead and zoom in. This will give us like a, like a target scope. Uh, and then we have a tracking capability. So this is a follow mode. So by clicking this here, we can track a person. In this case here, now it's tracking me. So the robot is tracking me and I'm not controlling it at all. It's actually moving on its own. So even if I move fast, uh, it actually lost me, but you can see that, there you go. It's not that bad for what it is. <laughs> so there you go. And we're back here again. So if I click on X, uh, we have the laser beam as already mentioned. Uh, and then we can also create custom skills. Uh, so you can go ahead and create your own skills based on how you program it in the lab. But yeah, kind of gives you an idea how that works out. So pretty cool. Now, you can go ahead and maneuver about, as you've already mentioned. So it is a little difficult to control at times, uh, but it mainly has to do with the battery level, so just keep that in mind. But other than that, it's almost like it's kind of gliding across the, uh, the ground, which is kind of nice to see. So that is that, and if you go ahead and exit out here, you have battle mode as well. Battle mode will allow you to go ahead and battle amongst each other, so you have the, two, uh, the multiple pressure sensors that you can go ahead and shoot at. Uh, and then you have a few different things from a race mode, free for all mode, and stuff of that nature. So definitely a very cool looking robot. And yeah, kind of gives you an idea of what this robot is about. Now you can always go ahead and program it with Python or Scratch as well, so it does give you a good capability in terms of coding goes. Now, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you had any questions about this, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.